Hi, I'm Jay Rhodes with Denison Yachting, and today we're going to walk through a 64 Hatteras motor yacht built in 2006 and completely refit in 2021. Every system on the boat has either been enhanced, replaced, or serviced to put her in as new condition. Highlights include dual Seakeeper gyro stabilizers, which completely eliminate rolling at sea, all new Garmin electronics with six multifunction displays, three at each helm, and all new air conditioning compressors and air handlers and pumps. We'll begin on the swim platform, which has all new teak decks and stainless steel rails, which were installed by pipe welders last year. Moving into the fully air conditioned engine room and lazarette area, you'll find the two Seakeeper 9 units, port and starboard. Further forward, through another watertight door, is the engine room. All hoses, pumps, air conditioning units, and lighting were all replaced during the last 12 months. Continuing up three steps from the swim platform is the aft deck, which also has new teak decking. There is a new varnished teak table and aft cushion bench seating, which accommodates eight people. Continuing around the full walk around side decks to the bow is a custom sun pad with an adjustable back, as well as easy access to all ground tackle. The fly bridge can be accessed from the aft deck or from the pilot house area. It's also fully air conditioned. All cushions, seating, and varnished teak tables are new. The centerline helm has all new Garmin electronics with three multifunction displays, autopilot, sonar, satellite weather, and solid state digital radar. In addition, she's equipped with a stabilized FLIR thermal night vision camera, a yacht controller wireless docking system, closed circuit camera system, and all new high-end audio system. In addition, there is a Furion outdoor 43-inch LED TV and soundbar. The boat deck features a 2021 Carib hardbottom inflatable dinghy with a 40 horsepower Yamaha outboard, which rests on removable chocks, which convert the boat deck to an outdoor lounge area, which is the configuration you see. Entering the salon through a stainless steel framed glass sliding door, there is a large U-shaped sofa to starboard and two newly upholstered club chairs to port. All interior woodwork throughout the yacht is done in a high gloss Macquarie wood. On the port side forward is a new Sony 55 inch LED TV, which is mounted on an angle making it visible anywhere in the salon. Up three steps from the salon is the pilot house and galley. A dinette with U-shaped newly cushioned seating for six is to port and the galley overlooking the salon is to starboard. The galley features sub-zero refrigeration and all high-end appliances. The centerline lower helm is forward, which has all electronics duplicated from the fly bridge. A watertight pantograph door to the side deck is to starboard. Further forward to starboard is a stairwell which leads down to the guest accommodations. Immediately to starboard is a locker with a Whirlpool stacked washer and dryer. Directly across the companionway is the guest stateroom with side-by-side -side twin berths and ensuite head, which also has an entrance from the companionway. All the way forward is the VIP guest stateroom with a centerline queen berth and ensuite head and shower. The full beam master stateroom is aft with a king size bed and ensuite head with a large glass enclosed tub. All three staterooms feature abundant hanging and drawer storage. Thank you for joining me on today's walkthrough. If you have any questions or you'd like to get aboard, please feel free to reach out to me.